Seems like every few days, Black Lives Matter posts a new video, and White America takes a long look at it and says, Wow, that was a stupid thing to do to the police. So I recently got myself blocked by a friend from church, <laughs> who's black. Uh, I used to go to an almost entirely black church until just this year. Um, and of course, she's sharing some of this liberal stuff, Why I'm a Racist. It's the name of the little blog or whatever. Huffington Post, of course. And in the midst of the blog, it goes something like this. I lived a life marked by opportunity and forgiveness. And while I may not have always had much, I have always had the benefit of the doubt. In my life, benefiting from other people's glass walls, that is simply not true for people of color. Like I'm not a color. Look, guys. I was abandoned by my father at the tender age of two. Some of my earliest memories are being beat by my stepfather. I love my dad and my mom and my family, but get it through your freaking thick skulls. White people are not born into this planet with everything roses, getting a bunch of benefits that you don't get. All of us have our problems. And a lot of us have problems that stem from the government. I was lied to by my recruiter and had four years of my life stolen from me. And when I confronted my captain about it, his response was basically tough shit. And I'm sorry, but when you run up against the government, you have to walk on eggshells. These police officers that you're busy trying to act like are so nice to white people are not that nice to white people. In the midst of this thing, they start talking about police. And the guy says they both explained, a couple of black people at his church, the reality that they were taught how to behave if they ever got pulled over by the police. They talked about it as if it was another part of growing up. An obvious lesson, like don't drink and drive or always pay your bills. This may not seem so strange until they describe exactly what they mean by how to behave if you ever get pulled over. One of the men relayed that he was taught you never reach for your wallet. You know why that is? Because when you're under arrest or you're pulled over for a speeding ticket or whatever, and you reach for your wallet in a big hurry, the police officer might think you're reaching for a gun. And do you know how I know that? Because I got told the same thing as a child. That's why everybody with halfway decent parents tells you, obey the law, be nice to the police, move your hands slowly. Are y'all aware that the little orange tips on all the fake guns out there are on there because kids decades ago were getting shot by police and they weren't all black? This stuff that you're acting like is unique to white people is not unique to white people, okay? Everybody should know to move their hands slowly and be polite when you're pulled over by the police. One of the more sympathetic stories that I've seen come out of Black Lives Matter is the Sandra Bland story. And I even showed it to a friend of mine because I have, believe it or not, a, gun a bunch of liberal tendencies. I mean, why else was I going to an all-black church? I show the guy the video. His instantaneous reaction, well, she was asking for it. I'm like, what do you mean asking for it? And I'm telling you, she's pulled over. The guy asks her a question. She answers the question. Then he gets all belligerent and tells her to put her cigarette out. And his response was, she's belligerent and won't put her cigarette out. And I was fixing to get mad at him when I realized that he was kind of a buddy of mine and I didn't want to do that. So I stopped for a second and it dawned on me. I've been pulled over multiple times and even arrested once. <laughs> and every single time that I have ever been pulled over, I have been cheery, smiley, happy man. Oh, officer. Yes, I'm a veteran. Are you a veteran too, officer? We all do this. <laughs> we all do this automatically when we're pulled over by the police because we're not raised from birth to act like the police are demons that's why because we know get this get this get this through your heads all of society pays billions of dollars to designate specific men to put on uniforms badges put them in the military in specific uniforms and drive tanks and planes and ship carriers all around the universe. We 
purposefully put these people in positions of physical authority because we don't want to deal with it ourselves. We, as a general population, are not fond of having to pick up the gun and go chase the criminal ourselves. So we nominate a guy and we put a big badge on him and you say, you go do it. And when he shows up at your door, your job is to say yes sir and no sir, move slowly and deliberately in obedience to his instructions. Don't like it? Get another reality. It has been millennia since it has operated in any other way anywhere in the civilized world. Specialization leads to the specialization of law enforcement. Stop breaking the law. Stop resisting arrest. And you will have a much more pleasant experience with people carrying around badges and guns. Get real. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.